welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Thanks for being here. I am gonna be busy today making some things ahead for the holidays, especially for Thanksgiving. It is October 30th today and I'm in my kitchen and I'm gonna be baking some pies, freezing pies, making rolls, and making Christmas cookies. Yeah, I have a lot on my list today, but because I'm not gonna be baking most of these, I'll be ahead of the game. So I want to be ahead of the game this holiday season when it comes to the baking. If I could reach into my freezer and already grab something and throw it in the oven, perfect. Or grab something and let it rest and rise, then throw it in my oven, perfect. Any step that I can skip to help save me time this holiday season, I'll be so grateful for. So I'm actually gonna be doing this collaboration with a few other amazing ladies here on YouTube. Check it out. First, there's Amy Marion. She comes from a big family of 12, and she shares homeschooling, cooking, cleaning, and juggling it all. She's an amazing homemaker with awesome tips on cooking. I absolutely adore Amy. Then there's Christine from Frugal Fit Mom. She's a super mom who loves all things finance, food, fitness, and fun. You'll get a lot of great money-saving tips, recipes, grocery hauls, and a lot of family love. And then there's Tiffany from Simple Wife, Simple Life. She's a stay-at-home mom, and you'll enjoy her videos on parenting, shopping, cleaning, and organization. All right, so don't forget to go check out their videos after you watch this one, okay? So I am going to be making today apple pie, pumpkin pie, blueberry pie, rolls, and Italian Christmas cookies. So I might have left out a few things, but let's get going, because it's already 11 o'clock. I've lost hours today, so I need to get the majority of this done by around 3.30. I better get moving, right? So if you want to get ahead with me, put on your aprons, get in the kitchen with me, and let's do it together. Aprons on, let's go. I am going to fill up my flour jar here. It's huge, it's huge. But I want to make sure that I use what is left at the bottom. I don't want to keep dumping fresh flour onto it, so I'm going to put this in a bowl. So you're probably thinking, ooh, she's going to make homemade pie crust today. And you want to know what? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> I am really bad at making homemade pie crust. Not bad, but I get so intimidated by it. So, I am getting a little help today. I know, you're going to be bummed, but with already made pie crust. This isn't sponsored, it's just what I use. Later this month, you will see me attempt to make a couple of different pie crust recipes. I already know which ones I want to try and I'll be taking you along with me because there's some pie recipes that I wanna make that I'm not freezing. So it's just a tricky balance. You have to have very cold butter. Oh, you have to have the right equipment. Maybe not, but. Um, so I'm gonna definitely be taking you along later this month. Look for that video. But right now, mm -mm. but I have a lot of pie recipes here on my channel. I'll leave a, a list of them, and maybe I'll even make a playlist for you guys. Um, a lot of what you're gonna see in that playlist, I am making this holiday season. One of my favorite ones is the blueberry pie. All right, and I have my sugar jar too, just makes it easier. So my flour, my sugar, I've got brown sugar here. I got some vanilla, baking powder, all right. So I've been thinking about this all morning and I'm like, where should I start? And I think I'm gonna start with the Christmas cookies and the rolls so I can let them set in the freezer and then individually bag them up. I am going to bake the Christmas cookies though. So that way when I take them out of the freezer, all I have to do is frost them and set them out and they're gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna start on the rolls and then I'll get them on sheets in the freezer and individually freeze them so I can put them in bags. And then while I'm baking cookies, I'll be working on pumpkin pies. Now with pumpkin pies, you definitely wanna cook those first and then put them in your freezer. So all you have to do is heat them through in your oven the day that you want them. If you're watching from the other channels from this collab, welcome. I hope you stay and become part of our fun family here. We have a lot of fun here at this channel. Uh, hope you subscribe and stick around.
I have never used parchment paper for my Christmas cookies, but I'm gonna do a batch with it and see how it goes. Okay, first batch in the oven. I need to use my Bosch to make the dinner rolls, so I am going to put the batter in here and then I'll get mixing for the rolls. Just gonna cover this in between rounds of making the cookies. I'm going to wash out my mixer bowl and then get going on the dough. So far so good on the cookies. I put them in for two more minutes. I always start them at eight minutes and then go from there. And this is a new oven with the new house so I'm still trying to figure out the timing with that. So, But I have to say I lifted up one of the cookies and it lifted easy. I could see the bottom. And even though there's a lot of shortening in these cookies, they still stick sometimes to my baking dish. So I think I'm definitely going to be using the parchment paper for now on. Okay, so now I'm going to start on my mom's rolls, which I call Ma's rolls. <laughs> so I do have a recipe down below of this. I have a video for you. A lot of you already have made them and love them. So thank you so much. And I love when you tell me when you have made and tried something. So continue to do that because I love hearing back. All right, so I'm gonna get going on this because it has to sit in the refrigerator for a while and get really cold. I usually make these the night before the dinner, Christmas dinner or, or Thanksgiving, and then in the morning it's really cold and I can work with it, but I'm gonna get it in and maybe that'll be the last thing I do because this dough is very <laughs> sticky, so I've gotta get in the refrigerator and make room for it. So, all right, let's get going on these rolls. They're so good, they're so addicting. Yum. I'm gonna add my dough mixture in, and then I'm gonna put a wet cheesecloth over the top and put this in our refrigerator to get really cold so then we can work with it. Okay, I am gonna start on some pies. It's already like five minutes to one, so, cause I, my son has a dentist appointment at four, then I gotta make dinner, but I have a feeling I will be doing this until the evening. But if I can crank all this out in one day, think of how much time I'm saving during the holidays. And if you don't have time to do this, like whip it out in a day, then what can you do on the weekend? How many hours can you give to it? Because creating more time during the holidays is so awesome. Our time is valuable and anything we could do to gain some extra time would be perfect. All right, so I'm just getting my blueberries ready. I bought eight of these packages, so one pint of blueberries. So I wanna make two blueberry pies. I've been asked if we're gonna have pie night this year, and really, I'm not too sure. We keep going back and forth. So I wanna make one for Friendsgiving and one for Thanksgiving. So right now, I'm just looking through, feeling the blueberries. These are really good blueberries. These are perfect. But I'm gonna get rid of any ones that I don't like take the stems off any of the ones that I see on here like this one this one has a little stem guy on there I'm gonna take that off and then I'm gonna uh, wash them up and then we'll get going on our pie mixture and my last batch of cookies is in the oven and the the batch that I made it makes two double recipes and honestly <laughs> Two batches of cookies is probably two parties. Yeah, maybe I could get three holiday parties out of it. But then I'm gonna be making more during Christmas because we like to pass them out to neighbors and people. So it won't be the last time I make those cookies, so. But at least I'm ahead a couple of events with them, though. Now I'm just gonna zest up some of this lemon. When you click on the link for this blueberry pie recipe, it's going to say three-fourths cup sugar. I read the comments on the blog that this recipe was on and everyone said, like, use brown sugar, use brown sugar. I switched out for brown sugar. It's so much yummier or whatever. And so I have done that. So I have on my recipe the three-fourths cup sugar scratched out and I have one half cup brown sugar.
Now I'm just getting my pie shells ready for the pumpkin pie. All right, I'm gonna take a time out from the blueberry pie and I am going to get my pumpkin pie mixture in these tins and in the oven because I am done with the cookies. The cookies are all done and they're just cooling off. So I have never worked with the Great Value, um, the Walmart brand pumpkin, but they call for regular milk and the pie, um, the pie, the canned pie that I'm used to is the Libby's, is it Libby's? <laughs> I can't remember. I really like their recipe and they call for evaporated milk. So I took a picture of the back of that can and I'm gonna use that recipe with this pumpkin. Because I just don't know if the pumpkin pie recipe off of here is any good. So I'm gonna use what we love and it's the other recipe. So I'm gonna get mixing this together so I can get these in the oven. And the rest of the time we can work on the things that don't need to be baked. Let's get all the baking done now. You know, I just realized I'm doubling this recipe, so I need to double this. <laughs> All right, I gotta add more cinnamon in. My dry mixture is done. And we can work on the wet stuff. It's going to kill my children to see this pumpkin pie cooling when they get home from school and they can't touch it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so hard. So, I was looking for something underneath this cabinet and I found a bag of extra kitchen things from the move that I haven't put in these drawers yet. And so this is the original beater. If you guys remember from my Halloween video that I put up a few days ago, I'll leave a link. I was saying how I threw away all the other beaters, extra beaters. This one fits. I found this one in that bag and this one fits. So let's just see if though, if it turns on, if it'll mix good. <laughs> oh geez. It's shaped a little different than the other one. <laughs> yes! It totally works. Sweet. Awesome sauce. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, click on the Halloween family video down below where I mentioned it because I was so heartbroken. I was cleaning and organizing and I threw things away that shouldn't have gotten thrown away. I had thrown things away that shouldn't have gotten thrown away. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Did I add a, the right amount of eggs? I think I put too many eggs in. Cause this is a double can. I'm gonna be making a lot of pumpkin pies. I'm so dumb. I need to double the can of pumpkin because this is the big can that I'm looking at the recipe. I have now doubled, I did this wrong, I doubled the big cans, sugar and spices, and doubled the eggs on here, I wasn't thinking. So I have started to make what would be four pumpkin pies, which is fine. I've got plenty of pie shells and all that, so. All right, looks like I'm gonna be making four pumpkin pies. I need to grab two more cans of pumpkin. Whew. Glad I caught myself. All right, now we're back on track. So, then I'm gonna pour in all these pumpkins. And it's fine, I'm doing four pumpkin pies. Are you kidding me? We go through a lot of pumpkin pie during the holidays, so it's probably a good thing I messed up and have everything for this. I would love to know, down below, comment if you have a funny holiday like blooper in baking or cooking anything. I have a video, I'll leave a link, where I burnt stuffing, like bad. Not like, oh I lightly burnt it. No, I burnt it. <sighs> It's a funny video. I bet a lot of you guys that are, have been with me for a while, you remember this video. So go check it out. But I wanna know, what blooper have you had from your holiday baking? I'm gonna stir this together and then we're gonna add our sugar mixture in. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, come on, I keep getting this all over me. So now I'm gonna grab my evaporated milk. All right, 
So we're gonna stir this in gradually. Also, I would like to know, do you eat pumpkin pie at Christmas or is it just a Thanksgiving thing? I don't remember if my mom made it for Christmas. I, I don't remember, but it was always there for Thanksgiving. We have it for both, my kids love it. All right, all blended together. Now let's pour it into our pie shells, but first, I already have two shells waiting for me, so let's make up another two. Do you see this all over me? Do you see this? Get your life together, lady. <laughs> and it's a pumpkin pie, too. And I just got pumpkin pie mixture on me. Oh well, this is why we wear aprons. Um, what I'm gonna do is ladle this in. It's just, this will be easier for me. And hopefully less messy. Do you guys remember the year that I cleaned my oven and I showed you how I cleaned my oven for the holidays? And then I made the pumpkin pies the night before Thanksgiving. <laughs> it spilled all in my oven. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link. Oh my gosh. We cleaned it up really quick though, thank goodness. A few little hiccups, but I got through it. <laughs> Oh my word. All right, those are baking. Those are gonna take a while. I will check on them when, the, when we have to change the temperature in the oven. And I do have those pie like crust covers, so if I need to put them on, I will. All right, so let's get going on this blueberry pie. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. Let's get the blueberry pies going. Oh, I'm sorry you have to see me with a dirty apron, but I'm working here. When I cook, I'm messy. <laughs> Derek always says, you're a good cook, but you certainly are messy. I sure am. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take my lemon and make some lemon juice, because we're gonna sprinkle this over the berries. If you wanna juice your lemon, you can roll it or stick it in the microwave for a few seconds, then roll it. All right, I'm not gonna go in full detail what I do, because I do have a video on this pie, so make sure you click on that link, but I'm telling you, this pie is so good. All right, I am just stirring in my sugar mixture with the cinnamon and the nutmeg and and there's flour in here and that's going to thicken this and you're gonna definitely need that when you freeze a fruit pie. So my apple pie, I'll be adding cornstarch. Um, yeah, so you definitely want a thickening agent. You don't need too much with the blueberry, but um, definitely for your apple. Okay. Awesome, I'm going to start pouring this into the pie shells. Derek came home for lunch and he was like, oh my goodness, the house smells good. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna kill the kids when they get home too. Now I've done a lot of research on freezing pies and they definitely say that, especially your fruit pies, um, you don't wanna bake them before you freeze them because they will not turn out good and they'll get soggy. All right, we're gonna dot these with some butter. All right, let's add the tops onto these pies. Okay, with your fruit pies, with the blueberry, I could have added some cornstarch at the bottom of the shell and then added my fruit mixture on top, but it has flour and blueberry pie does not create a lot of moisture. I'm really not worried about it because once they're baked and cooled, we're gonna let them sit for a long while before we cut into them and it'll be good. But if you're doing any other fruit pie, especially apple, you're definitely gonna wanna do that as well. There's a way that you can make fruit pie, apple pie, and I'm gonna show it to you here in a minute, where you can bake it like, th you can make it like this and then freeze it. But you definitely wanna add, um, like I said, the cornstarch to the bottom of this. But if this was an apple pie, I'm gonna share a method with you in just a minute that works much better. I'm gonna let this freeze up and then I'm gonna wrap it. Um, if you guys remember my desserts and snack video to um, freeze, it was, I kinda distorted my pie with wrapping it because it was so mushy. I'm gonna get this nice and hard before I start wrapping it up, okay? All right, this looks good. Let's go get them on a sheet and get them in the freezer. Okay, I've got one pie here and one pie here. Decided not to use the baking tray, they're gonna be fine. So I'm gonna let these freeze up for a little bit and then we'll wrap them so they'll keep their shape real good. Okay, three bags of Italian Christmas cookies are going in the freezer. These ones I'm not worried about, they're not gonna stick together. Uh, it's gonna work out great. So I'm gonna get these in and I'm set. All right, I scrubbed and washed my apples. I have um, green apple 
Granny Smith and Fuji. I'm gonna peel and slice them, get them in this bowl, and then I'll show you how you can make pumpkin pie filling and freeze it. Not even put it in the pie crust, so that's what's next. Okay, the apples are peeled and I put lemon juice over them so they can keep their color. And then I'm just gonna add in the seasonings. You know, the good old cinnamon and nutmeg and all that fun stuff and the sugar. And then I'll show you what we do next. Okay, I'm doing good on time. It's almost 3.30, it's 3.23, and I just gotta finish this filling, and then we can go to the dentist, yay! And then when I come home later, we'll work on the rolls. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is add a few tablespoons of cornstarch to this, at least four. And then I'm just gonna add cinnamon and nutmeg and use your own recipe, any good old thing. I in, Sometimes I don't even measure, I honestly just throw it in because you cannot over like spice an apple pie. Are you kidding? No way. This is apple pie. All right, I'm gonna show you what you could do with the pie filling. Oh, I hope this isn't all the aluminum foil I have. No, 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 no. Well, I'll show you with one. I'm out of aluminum foil, so I'll pick some up after we get back from the dentist. You have your pie pan, okay? Put your aluminum foil down, form it to your pan. We're just gonna add our apple pie filling to this. So here's our filling. This is ready to go. What we'll do is we'll wrap it. We're gonna freeze this while it's in this pie dish. See this here? So there's the shape of your the pie. You could wrap it again in another um, thing of aluminum foil. And then once it's done being wrapped up, you can put it in a Ziploc freezer bag and it'll last up to a year in your freezer. I'm actually gonna freeze it with the shell on. So I'm gonna slip this in and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna mark on this bag that it's apple pie filling. And then I'm gonna slip this in here so all you have to do when it's when you're ready to bake it, this whole thing will be frozen solid, okay? And all you have to do is unwrap it, stick that block of icy uh, apple pie filling into your pie crust with some, a little, you could sprinkle a little more cornstarch onto your um, pie crust. And you could poke holes at the bottom if you want, but. So this is going to last seriously up to a year but this is this is only gonna get us through the holidays so this is either coming out for Christmas or for Thanksgiving uh, we're gonna head to the dentist I'm gonna grab some more aluminum foil and I will do the next one when I get home see how easy this is Woohoo! okay going in the freezer it's one in the morning <laughs> I just got back from a birthday gathering for my good friend and so now I grabbed these blueberry pies out of my freezer. They are a rose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap them in the saran wrap, and then we're gonna wrap them in the aluminum foil. By doing it this way, it keeps its shape, and you're not squeezing in it. Like, that's what happened to my apple pie when I froze it. It just, um, the shape got squished. And when we go to bake these, we'll unwrap them, rub an egg wash on them, and pop them in the oven. I just put a B on there for blueberry. So these are ready to go back into the freezer. Now I'm gonna wrap up the pumpkin pies. So I am wrapping the three and keeping out the fourth because the cat, <laughs> the kids begged me to. So we're gonna have that tomorrow and well, or today, cause it's like one in the morning. It's Halloween and so we'll have that tonight as our treat after dinner. And then they'll load up on candy, right? All right.
right, the pumpkin pies are labeled. Now we're gonna do that last apple pie filling. I have it in the refrigerator in a bowl. Okay, it's in its pie shell, it's in its pie pan, apple pie filling wrapped up. So when we go to bake it, it'll retain its shape. All right, let's load the freezer up with all these pies. Okay, I have the cookies, pumpkin pies, blueberry, Apple pie filling pies, another pumpkin, all in the freezer. Okay, leaving that pumpkin pie for the kids for tomorrow for Halloween. It is, it's 1.37 in the morning, I'm going to bed, and then tomorrow we will do the rolls. They're fine, overnight, in the bowl covered, they're doing great, so we'll make rolls tomorrow. So I'll see you in a snap. Good morning, friends. All right, we're gonna get going on the rolls, and I just took them out of the fridge. They have risen, and they're nice and cold and ready to work with. My hands are washed, and I'm going to roll these into balls, get them down on this wax paper, on these cookie sheets. I ordered from Instacart last night and grabbed aluminum foil like I needed, and uh, <laughs> the cookie pans. So I'm gonna roll these out and then stick these trays into our freezer. They're gonna freeze and I'm gonna let them freeze for probably about two hours. And then I'm going to take them and put them in a Ziploc bag all together and seal that up and put it in the freezer. So when we want these rolls on Thanksgiving or Christmas, more than likely these will be used on Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving that I'm gonna be doing. Um, then all I have to do is take them out, put them on the baking sheet, let them rise, just like you would do like your rolls rolls or your frozen roads rolls or your frozen rolls that you get from the supermarket and then they'll double in size and then we'll bake them. So I've skipped a whole huge step of Pulling out my Bosch, making them. Oh my goodness. See how it's still a little sticky? But I'm telling you, these are so, so good. All right, I'm gonna finish these up and then get them in the freezer and I will show you when we're all done bagging them up. All right, there they are doing their thing and I'll let them stay in here for about an hour or two and then I'm gonna do this and then bag them up. I have more that I'm gonna do and put in here, so I'll see you when it's all done. Well friends, I hope that encouraged you to bake ahead for the holidays. You don't have to do it big. You could take one day at a time where you do just a couple of pies or one day where you just do a, one cookie recipe. But anything you can do to help save time during the holidays will be such a lifesaver for you. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me. And again, go check out all the other ladies' channels. You'll love them. And then see what they got cooking up to help save you time for the holidays. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you soon. Bye.